Right, so I have taken out, this is the RAM that was in my PC now, the 8 gig stick that I didn't send. Here is the stick coming back from EVTEC. That is the motherboard and the four DIMM slots. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put this stick that I've got straight back from EVTEC, which has been stress tested, into the PC and see if it works on its own because last time the stick was in here before I sent it we were getting a red light on the RAM indicator on the motherboard okay so now we have the single 8 gig in the slot that was working with the RAM that I've had since this stick has been away with EVTEC for the last week or so now let's see if it works with this stick because it's been re it's been stress tested and there's nothing wrong with my motherboard as you guys can see so let's switch this on and see if the ram light comes on or whether it actually works okay now we're gonna switch on and that is everything going through the procedures and everything seems to be working now what we're going to do is this is the ram that i've had with me that has always been working right now we've just put the ram that i got back from evtech that and i've got photos of it in this exact same setup with a red light ram completely on in my pc not even starting just being dead and then removing it and putting this stick that's always worked in and it worked now, as you guys have seen, I've put this stick back in after it coming back from EVTEC. It's the same stick of RAM that wasn't working before. It was stress tested by them, comes back in the first DIMM slot. It is now working, and there are no indicator lights on the motherboard about the RAM being faulty. And my PC is running. So let's put the second stick now, this is the one that was working all the time, into the second DIMM slot and see if the red light comes on like it did before. Because then it probably is my motherboard, but I'm pretty sure that it isn't. Right, so there we have the two sticks of RAM in. In the first slot now, I have what was the broken RAM that was sent to EVTEC. And in the second slot, I've got the RAM that has been working the whole time. Let's see if the PC comes on now and goes through all of the lights on the motherboard and starts with no hiccups. Right, let's go and switch this baby back on again and see what happens here. Are we going to have liftoff? Um, right, so let's just uh, make sure that everything seems to be booting up and working, which is crazy because the one stick wasn't working. And like you can see, everything is working and yet before the RAM wasn't working and I tested it in all the slots every slot was red for a RAM fault and the PC would not come on when I took out the faulty RAM before and put just the one stick that was working in everything worked took that stick out put the other stick in that I sent to EVTEC and the red RAM light would come on now, I've done nothing except just run the PC on 8 gigs of RAM since the other stick has been away. EVTEC stress tested it for over four days, kept saying to me, guy, this thing is working. So I told them, send it back. And how do you explain that they're both working now? And uh, they say that everything in the PC world and with electronics is black and white. There's no gray area. Uh, get me an electrician or a technician that can explain what's just happened with this two sticks of RAM all of a sudden now working again together. I guarantee you now, no one will be able to tell me exactly what is going on here. 